Space scientists have been working on finding out an alternative habitat, and they found out that Mars can potentially serve this purpose. Ever since this finding, Elon Musk and others have been working on making interplanetary travel possible. But what will happen to Earth if all humans are sent to Mars? Let's find out. Welcome to Top 10 World. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the meat. Humans have not been kind to Earth. They're the ones behind deteriorating nature, boundless urbanization, oceans filled with plastic waste, and pollutions of all kinds. And this collective disappearance of mankind might be a breather for the Earth. Isn't that oversimplification? It is, because there's a lot on Earth that demands human presence. Currently, humans are controlling all kinds of systems, aircraft, machines, and nuclear bases, and without our presence, all these processes and systems will close down. Closure of some of these operations will in turn help the Earth in respawning, while a few will be tremendously catastrophic. Airplanes, cars, and other vehicles will start to rust. Stationary cars will start releasing exhaust fumes into the air until their fuel supplies run out also. Liquefied natural gas plants vent gases that can reach stationary cars. Eventually, sparks will ignite petrol in fuel tanks and the fuel will start catching fire. This will cause huge explosions that will rage for days. Computer systems and machines might stay operational until the power runs out. Talking about power cuts, let's take the example of Pennsylvania, which is powered by wind turbines. The turbines might keep on working, but at the local power station, the controls are unmanned now, and the computers will detect that as a problem and will shut down the systems. As a result, Pennsylvania now has no power. Satellites in orbit communicate with supercomputers and will continue to transmit information around the globe. These satellites will stay operational as long as their solar panels are intact. On Earth, machines will only keep going as long as the electricity stays on. Safe approximation tells us that after one day, only nuclear power plants will remain functional. But when their power supply also ends, reactors will stop. And when those reactors stop, the reactions will continue without any sort of harness, and that might lead to upheavals. Along with nuclear plants, chemical plants will also stop functioning. And in such plants, many stored gases require electricity so that they can be cooled down to stay in liquid form. Gas storage tanks will heat up until the pressure release valves are activated, and once they're activated, toxic gases will start releasing in the surrounding environment. Hundreds of thousands of venting tanks will cause the deaths of plants and animals in the affected areas. Don't worry, because your houses won't be empty as your loyal pets will be inhabiting them. But for the sad part, they'll keep waiting for you to come back until they die of starvation. Only hydroelectric plants can potentially keep working for months, but after they also stop, there will be no bulb left lit in the whole world. Let's take a little breather here so you can smash that like button. No rocket science is involved in that, though. Getting back to the meat. Let us talk a little about animals. All our beloved pets will turn into unruly predators, and then the survival of the fittest theory will once again come into play, and the spectrum of this statement also includes wild animals. Animals in the zoo might not survive the temperature changes, but also there's a chance that many deadly predators will manage to escape since electric fences at zoos will also go powerless. No hunting seasons mean that there will be no unnecessary killing of animals, and some of the endangered species might not be in danger anymore. Large carnivores are generally human shy, but without the lights or noise made by humans, they would penetrate urban areas and would start to feast upon domesticated animals. After approximately 60 years, sea life will completely recover from overfishing and thrives. As more time will pass, the whole world will be a different place as the visibility and air quality will increase. New trees will start to grow in home gardens. In homegrown plants and trees will cause the roofs of houses to collapse. And as per approximations of scientists, forests after 500 years will return to the state they were in 10,000 years ago. Spring rains will wash away the radioactive particles from the surface and will carry them further into the ground, thus cleaning plants and objects. Meanwhile, new plants and trees will also contribute to removing artificial CO2 from the atmosphere as the new plants and flowers will bloom in the ruined cities and 
clean up greenhouse gases faster than in human time. Paint will start to wear away after years of exposure to rain and also after many years in changing seasons, buildings would have gone through extreme pressure. Rainwater will start to seep into cracks in concrete columns, pillars, and walls, and it'll freeze in winter before thawing again in the spring. These repeated freeze-thaw cycles will crack concrete, metal bars inside concrete giving the concrete its strength. But when water accesses these bars, they'll start to expand and crack the concrete. Finally, the support columns will give way and consequently, the buildings will start toppling. The upper floors will start kissing the lower ones until the whole building collectively kisses the ground. Most buildings will suffer the same fate. Skyscrapers around the world will cease to exist. Concrete structures such as train stations will also begin to fall as the roofs give way and the support columns break. The Eiffel Tower will look completely different. Its core will fall and the remaining part will be covered by greenery. The Statue of Liberty will also be history. Finally, after 25,000 years, Earth will enter a new ice age and glaciers will expand southwards covering most of the northern hemisphere. The last traces of New York City will be completely erased. Most sea lions, ducks, camels, fish, ostriches, lions, tigers, bison, baboons, deer, wolves, horses, cattle, and elephants will manage to adapt alongside many other species. However, the evidence left by moon exploration missions and certain plastic items will survive intact for not only thousands, but millions of years after mankind has vanished. They will be the last legacy of the human race. Only such a few signs will remain as a memorial of an intelligent kind that once used to rule this world. The world will restart with or without humans. It will simply not end. It'll be cleaner, greener, and purer. If there's one thing that we should learn after consuming these kinds of analytical reports is that we should start worrying about the world that surrounds us because the damage we've caused is simply enormous. We know that the Earth has survived far worse than this, but we should start caring more about it, even if we manage to make Mars a livable place. It'd be better to have Mars as a choice rather than a necessity. So guys, we believe now you have a fair idea of what would happen to Earth if all humans are sent to Mars. Do give your feedback in the comments section as we'd love to hear from you. And finally, that has been it from our side. If you enjoy our content, do consider subscribing and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.